All right. So I'm up here today to discuss discrimination against sexual orientation, which if you don't know, that's lesbians, gays, transgender, transgenders, and bisexuals. But first, I'm going to tell you a little story about a little boy I know. It's about a little boy who struggled his whole life between getting beat up in school or being harassed by his parents, all because he doesn't want to be with a girl. This little boy's name is Justin, and I have known him my entire life, like from little to now. Um, he has struggled. The struggle he has had to go through is all because he's openly gay. See, Justin was a typical kid until we got into about the fourth or fifth grade. And we all, I mean, we all hung out together. We were all, you know, played around. You know, there was no problem at all until about the fourth or fifth grade. We, everyone noticed that he was different, even himself. And this, I mean, this became a problem because that's when the bullying started. All because he was a little different. I mean, his voice was a little different. He mostly, he stopped hanging out with guys because the guys were mean to him. And in the eighth grade, he, it was one that was really, really bad. Um, he actually came out and told everyone that he was gay and that um, he was okay with that. And he had, this, this is when the frequent trips to the principal's office started. Um, the principal actually told him that maybe he should tone it down a bit because that would prevent him from being bullied. Now, does this bother anybody else? Because it should. This is a big problem. Justin is now a senior in high school and will be attending college next year. He is still openly gay and he still gets picked on to this day. He actually told me that he doesn't, it doesn't really bother him anymore. It doesn't even phase him. Um, the thing that saddens me the most about Justin's story is in a few years, all of his friends, who are mostly girls because the guys are not comfortable with being friends with him, are going to be getting married and settling down and having a family. And he won't be able to because in Missouri, you're not, I mean, aside from uh, the St. Louis area, you're not allowed to have a same-sex marriage license. They won't give it to you. Um, according to the Missouri state law, you cannot get a same-sex marriage license unless you've received it from a different state or you're a resident of the St. Louis County area. And there's no reason that this should be the way it is. And if this, if this story wasn't disturbing enough for you, I have some stats. Um, in 2011, Tia Meyer, the founder of the Meyer Foundation, which if you didn't know, the Meyer Foundation was set up to prevent bullying in the school. See, Tia Meyer's uh, daughter, Megan Meyer, was a victim of cyberbullying. And she actually hung herself because of the cyberbullying. Now, the survey that Tia Meyer created was for LGBT students. Um, she <coughs> surveyed about 70,000 students. And these are a few of the results that she has come up with. 80% of these students have been verbally harassed. 40% of these students were physically harassed. 60% of these students felt unsafe. And 20% of these students were a victim of physical assault. And that was just at school. Now the thing that has caught my eye the most, and the thing that I feel is the most disturbing about this whole situation, is according is around 60% of these students were reported of hearing and receiving homophobic remarks from their teachers. The people that are supposed to be leading them to do better were the ones that were, were saying these remarks, and also other staff members. You're probably sitting there wondering why I've told you this story today um, and giving you these facts. You're probably sitting there in your chair saying, well, how does this affect me? In your head, of course, but I will be, I'll be the first to tell you. What if that was your child suffering? What if, what if you were that teacher? and you were supposed to be leading them. And but what would you do? Would you disown them just because of the person he chooses to love? Or would you disown them just because she, she didn't want to be with a boy? And she's not going to be able to have children because she wants to be with a girl. I know I wouldn't be able to. See, the fact that the child has to go through this is all the problem. I'm, I'm just talking about Missouri alone, not another country, not another state, just Missouri. And I have given you, I could give you countless examples, but I've only given you one. See, Missouri doesn't have any rules or laws to protect the same sex. 
the, uh, the same-sex couples or their families, the children of these people. And this is why I'm up here speaking to you today. I want to do my part to fix this problem. So my next question is, what are we doing as a state to fix these problems? I found a couple, a couple ideas and a couple things that I think are good that we've already started. For example, equal opportunity. The Missouri Human Rights Act prohibits discrimination in housing. Not anything else, just the housing alone. Again, same-sex couples according to the Department of Labor. Also, the fact that you can get a same-sex marriage license in the St. Louis area, I feel like that's a good start, but I feel like we can do better. This brings, to me, this brings me to my last point. When researching this subject, I had a hard time narrowing down what I was going to talk about. I, I knew what the problem was, discrimination against sexual orientation. I wanted to pick something that would hit home, and that is why I've spoken about, about these young students today. See, at one point in our lives, we were those students. We were in that high school, in that cafeteria, watching those, uh, those little children get picked on. Maybe we were the ones that were being the bullies. Either way, we've all been affected by bullying, discrimination, and it is time for this to end. I will leave you with this one quote that I live by every day. Um, Gandhi once said, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. See, I thrive to be the change, and I hope that you will too. And Nick is going to discuss a little bit more about our